welcome everyone, I am the Seventh Sword, and now it's time to show you one of the most effective, efficient, and safest rune farms in the game. Once you get here, of course, there's a lot of danger along the way, but once you get here, this is a very safe, if all but tedious, rune farm that may get patched, so you might want to take advantage of this as soon as possible. First off, I am at Mogwin's Palace, and I am at the Palace Approach Ledge Road. At this site of grace, there is a bird that walks over here, and all you need to do is pull out a bow and arrow, and if you get really, really good at it, you can shoot him very, very quickly, and he will then charge you, if I can actually get the shot. Boom, there you go. He will charge you, and he'll run off the cliff. Boom. And that nets you a cool 11,000 runes. Now you can actually be much faster at this. I'll show you right now. I'll try to do this. You sit at the side of Grace. You go over here. You aim your shot. You shoot between the tree. Boom. Runs off the cliff. You can actually run back to the side of Grace now. Sit down. And you've already got your runes. And you can just go do that over and over and over again. And you can get tons of runes. This is obviously going to be enhanced if you have the Golden Scarab Talisman, which is a very, very good talisman that increases the amount of runes dropped from defeated enemies. And then, if you have a lot of Golden Pickle Fowlfoots, you can actually then use one of those, and I think it'll net you around 17,000 souls per kill of this bird. So you can make some pretty hefty money very quickly, even if it is a bit like, eh, you know tedious work. So you might be wondering exactly how do I get there because I don't know I don't have that place. Maybe some of you out there don't have this spot yet and that and uh, that's fair because this is actually a pretty end game spot but there is a way to get here after beating Godric. There's just some steps you're gonna have to complete in order to do it and I'm gonna show you all of those steps right now. First things first there's actually an NPC his name is Whitefaced Ver, Var, Ver, Var, Ver. He stands right here at the beginning of the game you meet him when you walk out of that cave and uh, he's crucial to getting to that spot. So you're going to want to talk to him after defeating Godric. He probably will still be here, but you're going to want to talk to him after beating Godric. Then he's going to tell you to have an audience with the two fingers. At that point, you're going to want to make your way to the round table hold. You're going to want to have the audience with the two fingers. Once, once that is complete, he will actually move from the first steps. He will then be at this location called the Rose Church in this area right over here. So I'm going to go over here and I'll show you where he's going to be standing in your game once you've had the audience and once you've exhausted his dialogue after beating Godric. Once you've bested Godric and you've met with the two fingers and you've exhausted his dialogue, he will then appear here. There is a tough enemy that spawns up ahead, so if you want to fight something really tough, go ahead and walk in there. But right now, just talk to him and he is actually then going to give you an item. And that item is for invading other worlds and it is called... The Festering Bloody Finger. He's going to give you five of them. You'll need to invade three times. So you have to invade other worlds three times. It doesn't matter if you win, doesn't matter if you lose. You just have to invade three times. Once you've invaded three times, he's going to give you a white piece of cloth called the Lord of Blood's Favor. And you're going to need to soak that in a maiden's blood. And you're like, well, wait a minute, where do I get that? Well, don't worry, I got you covered. Once you have the cloth, you're going to want to make your way further north, and you're going to want to make your way to what is called the Four Belfries. I'm going to show you the path from here to take in order to get there, but it's really straightforward. You're just going to want to head northwest, and you'll, you'll get to the Four Belfries really quickly.
All right, once you've made it to the four belfries, you're going to want to get this side of Grace right here so you can continue to just fast travel here because you're probably going to, you might have to take a few tries depending on what your level is here because you're going to have to actually fight uh, an enemy by yourself, a boss enemy. Once you've lit that side of Grace, you're going to want to come up here and open this treasure chest. You might have one of these, you might not, but either way, you get one from here. You get an imbued sword key and you're going to actually need to use that imbued sword key right down over here. Now, if you notice there's actually a couple of these teleporters around, but the one that you care about is this one. You're gonna wanna activate this one right over here. And again, this is where it's uh, gonna be single player only because you cannot teleport in there with friends. And even if they do get that spot, you cannot summon or be summoned in this area. You're gonna travel to another location and you're gonna be in the Chapel of Anticipation. If that sounds familiar to you, it's because this is the starting area of the game. And you are actually going to be on the other side where you fought that first boss where you had no ability to heal. This is the room where you're going to fight the boss. You're going to have to take it down, so keep coming back here as many times as it takes to defeat it. Once you have the boss defeated, you're going to want to progress further in, and you're going to want to go up the steps on the left side, back to the very first room where you started. And in here, on the left side, where you picked up the finger to write messages, you can then inspect this body again, and then you will douse the cloth in the maiden's blood. Once you have that complete, you're going to want to head back to the Rose Church again. After you've made your way back here, you're going to want to talk to him, show him what you've done, and then you're going to want to be anointed by him. So make sure you actually accept all of those options. Then he's going to give you yet another item. This item is called the Pure Blood Knight's Medal. An audience with Mog will be granted one day. You're gonna wanna just use this item and you will be teleported to Mogwin's palace. Now once you get teleported in, you're actually gonna wanna get a Sight of Grace that's pretty close up here, just so that you have it as a starting point. It's right here. Once you got this Sight of Grace, you're actually going to want to head back down the stairs because you'll be able to summon your horse once you get out of this little structure here. And then I'll show you the best path to take to the next Sight of Grace. And now that you've got that side of grace, you can shoot this bird to your heart's content. Now, I guess some people are saying that it may have been semi-patched, but uh, this has been working for me as of today. Sometimes the bird will stop short of the cliff, right there where that item is, but usually the bird will run off the cliff still anyway, especially if you shoot it from over here. And there he goes. Whee! Dead. So there you have it. This is quite possibly right now the most effective, efficient, and safest rune farm in the game. Hopefully it helps you out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all later.